tells us that the four angles in degrees of a quadrilateral ABCD are given by this. And we need to show that this ABCD is a trapezium. So I've already sketched it here earlier just to make it, you know, just to, just to speed this up a bit. And the key idea is, I mean, I don't know if it's ABCD like this, but we have to observe that a trapezium, like what makes a trapezium? Well, a trapezium firstly has two parallel sides and that the sum of its supplementary angles, like for example, A plus B, must equal 180 around the parallel line. And same with C and D. These two must add up to make 180. So that's what we need to prove. We need to basically find a combination here that equals 180 for two angles and 180 for the other two. And but first things first, we need to find the value of x to satisfy this. And to do this, we need to also realize that in a four-sided shape, all angles must add up to 360. So let's go ahead and add up, you know, all of these angles here. So let me change the color of the pen. Okay, so all of these ones, we're gonna now add them up. So what do we get? So I'm gonna do it fast. So x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared. Now adding up the, the x terms, minus 30x minus 30x is minus 60x. Now adding up all the terms, so 470 plus 510 minus 65 minus 105. And that should give us, well, I'm gonna just quickly do in the calculator. Minus 105 minus 65. And you should get 810, so plus 810. And every single one of this must add up to 360 degrees. Okay, good, good. So, so far, so good. Now, let's go ahead and solve this, yeah? So, one thing to know is that this one is blatantly like a quadratic equation, so we need to subtract 360 across. So, we have 2x squared minus 60x, uh, subtracting 360. I should know this one. And you should get 450 equals zero. Good. Now, making your life easy, just divide this all by two so you can simplify it. So x squared minus 30x plus 225 equals zero. Right, almost there. Now let's go ahead and factorize this here. So what do we do? So using the quadratic formula, we could say, for example, using the, the general rule such as x equals minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and remember this formula is actually in the beginning of the book so you got it and realizing that the value of a is the coefficient of 1x squared which is 1 b is minus 30 and c is 2 to 5 we should get the following so let's plug it all in so i'm going to assume you guys know how to do this yeah so minus b is plus 30 and 30 squared minus 30 squared is 900 minus 4 times 1 times 2 to 5 4 times 1 times 2 to 5, which is also 900. So, oof, so conveniently, this part is 0, all over 2 times 1, so 2. Okay, and really, because it's 0, it's just going to be 30 over 2. And the answer for x would be, well, 15 degrees. Now, now we found x, let's go back to the top. So since we know the value for x, we can go ahead and, and actually work out each of these angles. So what do we have here? So when x is... 15. The first angle would be 15 squared minus 105, which is 120 degrees. Hmm, I'm getting a good feeling about this. Next one's going to be 15 squared, uh, 15 squared minus 65, which is 160. So firstly, these two don't pair up. So let me just go ahead and clear this out here. Yeah? Next angle will be 470 minus 30 times 15, oh, it was x, 15, yep, which is 20, yes. So I can kind of see that these two, b and c, pair up. So let's put, um, well, we'll do that in a second. And finally, angle d, 510 minus 30 times 15. And that should be 60 degrees. Okay, so all checks out. So now we can see that the two pairs that make 180 would be 120 and 60. So let's call this one a and d. So this would be B and C because A is A, B, C, D. So A would be 120 and D is 60. And that, yep, that checks out. That makes 180. And C and B, C being 20 and B being um, 160. <sighs> and that's it, guys.